Jerusalem, it's just like any other 3,000-year-old city that's sacred to three major religions. <laughs> the food is exactly like in any other place that has Mediterranean fusion flavors that you never knew existed. And just like everywhere else, there are endless soft white beaches with perfectly comfortable weather 300 days a year. Israel, exactly like nowhere else. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries has chairs and recliners to fit every need, including naps. It's the St. Patrick's Day Sale. Get 25% off everything, plus an extra 5% in bonus savings. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Wow. Wait. Is that a phone? Look at the performance, the graphics. That thing's a gaming machine. A new challenger, Baker. That man's a gaming legend. Everyone, fasten your seatbelts. And here we go. Live from the Oscars, Sunday at 1 p.m. on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman in Crestline. First, there was a whole lot of snow here. Now, over the next day and a half, a bunch of rain. That could create many, many new problems for this community. I'll have a live report coming up. And depending on where you're at, you may be seeing rain as well this morning. I'm Carlos Herrera, live in Drive 5. We're in Studio City. We'll give you a look on the road conditions this morning coming up. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Silver lining to all of the rain we've been experiencing this winter. More sections of California have been declared completely drought free. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Another stronger than expected jobs report released today, but it may not be enough to sway the Federal Reserve into taking more action against inflation. We'll explain why. I've never been new here at 10 o'clock. The stage managers have amazing tea. That was really good. Uh, Ted Lass Good morning, everyone, and here we go on a Friday, a rainy Friday once again. It seems like we've been having this uh, record played a couple of times over the weekends. Rain continues. The lens uh, pretty wet from our melons and camera. Coastal layers 57. Downtown Los Angeles uh, expected high 59, 58 in the San Fernando Valley. Some of these temperatures not warming up too much currently in uh, Orange County inland. 56 expected high of only 57. Gusty winds out there and also gusty winds in the high desert up to 45 miles per hour. Frank and Jessica back to you. Noon our 10 o'clock hour, President Biden has just approved an emergency declaration for our state ordering federal aid to supplement state and local storm relief efforts. The extra help comes amid new concerns in our local mountains, this time involving the possibility of flooding. KTLA's Eric Spillman is live in Crestline with more on that. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Frank. Yeah, this place just can't catch a break. First, we had snow a couple of weeks ago, uh, a blizzard, and now we've got rain. Light rain falling here and more to come. Here's what the problem is. See that shop across the way? That's a tire shop. You see what happened to the roof there in the awning in front. Because of the heavy snow from the initial storm, that collapsed and the front part came crashing down. The, the weight of the snow caused it to cave in. Well, now that problem potentially could get a lot worse because of the rain. Take a look down the street here, and you see that there's still a lot of snow on some of these rooftops. Now we have rain falling, and an inch and a half more is forecast to be falling here over the next 24 hours or so. That mixes with the snow already on the rooftops. It becomes heavier, and then you have more cave-ins potentially, and also potentially, if it freezes overnight, on the rooftops, you could have sheets of ice, dangerous big sheets of ice falling down. This is happening in a community where folks, many folks, are still trapped or isolated in their homes from the initial snowstorm. They're snowed in. Let me show you some pictures of a woman named Lori. She has been isolated in her home here in Crestline for the last 19 days. Her home surrounded by a massive berm of, of snow. She can't get help, can't get people to plow it. She's, uh, she has no heat. 
Uh, she was out of breath when we spoke to her. She had to walk up the hill in order to talk to us. Listen to what she had to say. So you've been stuck in there, huh? Pretty much. Uh, I can walk out. I walked to my daughter's, which is two and a half miles away, when the power went out. The community has been great. They're very prepared. Caltrans or the county was not. The roads didn't stay plowed. So the Edison couldn't get through. The power went out here for six days. I heard an elderly woman right up here passed away because she couldn't get out of her house. How's it been for you? It's been rough, but...